Hey guys, so for today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys about the first six songs of my soon to be completed, I hope, album called Self <clears throat> Self Destruction. I just wanted to sit down and have some heart to heart talk with you guys again after quite some time. I feel like I have been doing a lot of collaborative videos with my cousins, with my sister, with my friends and I just didn't feel like you know that was right because I'm doing this channel on my own. I should have some form of individuality here. I'm the main character. Okay so let's just get straight to it. First of all I want to share with you guys what I want to portray as a whole through this um, album called Self-Destruction. Like the title itself, um, it's basically about, I guess, destroying yourself. Not destroying myself physically, but emotionally. All these songs, mm, their themes range from like love, about the planet, about some of the experiences that I had which you might find relatable. So far, I all these six songs that I have written are quite, well, sad. So I'm hoping to write some happy songs. Please check them out when they come out. <laughs> Let's start getting into the details. First song, Bothering. Wow, I think I wrote this like so long ago. I wrote this at the start of this year, January 5. I mean, this this is a date that I posted this song. So I think I wrote this song like last year. By the way, Merry Christmas, guys. And Happy New Year probably when I post this. Yeah, this song, I think I wrote it around the time that I finally started to get some confidence in myself. But still, deep inside, I cared about what other people thought about me. Sometimes you're just doing your own shit and then someone else will come in and say, oh, maybe you should do this more. Maybe you should um, work on this more. I don't think what you're doing right now is meaningful. Suddenly you just start to lose the confidence that you once had, especially for people like me who are pretty strict on themselves, I guess. So that's how you kind of end up changing your track, heeding their advice, getting all frustrated, or even just completely giving up. I think that's why a lot of the things that I do don't really like continue long term. So yes, I think the overall message of this song is just it's really painful, I guess, to receive feedback sometimes. Just know that there's an idea out there and and you know that person is trying to help you. Some sometimes um if you don't feel like that feedback doesn't work for you, you don't you you don't have to accept it. Don't take things too seriously. That is like the overall lesson that I'm trying to learn, even still now. But yeah, it's 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 also okay not to be confident at all times. You can feel vulnerable. It's always good to have a balance of everything. Imaginary Summoner. I think this song, a lot of the inspiration came from My Future by Billie Eilish. Although this song is definitely not good as hers. I was and I am still quite scared of growing up. I just feel like I have to achieve something. I think that's a worry for quite a lot of people, especially today because even young people like me are achieving things becoming i don't know artists like billy she's she's only 20 this year it's definitely quite stressful to see so many other people succeeding you just feel like you're not anything scared to be normal but at the same time i i i i, I am definitely excited for the future but it is a scary thought but we shouldn't give up. We have to keep on moving. What I'm doing recently to forget this thought is focusing on the present 
focusing on now there's no end to just thinking and thinking and thinking on to the third song shouldn't have loved you it's definitely about love nothing much to say honestly it's all written in the lyrics i actually like this song quite a lot because i feel like i was able to put my thoughts on to work because i was able to like make my thoughts come to life for some before it's reality planet everyone although i gotta be honest i myself am not really protecting the environment i i feel like i could do more for the planet definitely although i don't do much for the planet to be honest the things that i learned in school are quite scary like really i really think that the things that we're doing to the planet it is becoming more and more obvious the fact that it is also going to eventually hurt us we are going to suffer yeah i i we gotta do something i hear a lot of people don't protect the planet but we we gotta start saying we us we gotta start including ourselves in the game yeah i just wrote this song to not only warn caution you guys about how how the earth is really dying and we are dying but also like to myself i think it, it is more of a message to myself i have to do something i have to um for example try not to buy too many things try to like recycle stuff as much as possible reuse stuff as much as possible reduce waste try to open the window more just small things like that fifth song me myself and i this is like i guess a personal experience i think this song connects to the album that i wrote last year which is who am i then i was going through uh an identity crisis to put it in short i was just confused about how i was acting in school and in public in primary school in preschool i was always the one noisy one in in class and I was always the extrovert yeah as you might call it the confident one but for some reason i got into secondary school and new school new environment i started getting shy i wanted to um hang out with people but somehow i couldn't i just couldn't get the courage to do so which was really weird for me it was just like a really confusing phase and i cried a lot it was just painful Yep, so anyways, um, I was just going through that whole identity crisis. And then this year, I saw a classmate of mine. I wasn't really close to her. And I don't really know precisely what she was going through. But she was just crying a lot in class. She, she seemed very down. And even though a lot of her friends were like reaching out to her and inviting her for lunch she was always like rejecting them and making herself be alone by herself i just kind of saw myself in her so i wrote this song about the frustration of not being able to get out of your own world being by yourself until you actually realize that you have people around you and you can reach out to them it's actually me myself and i who is rejecting people pushing away people it's quite hard to notice that writing this song is also my hope that i can be by their sides that i can be someone who doesn't you know just throw out advice at them but just be by their sides and go through the struggle with them yep i want to be that kind of a friend i really apologize if you don't understand what is going on it is most of the time like this while writing while i am writing a song it's like everything is my is in my head but i can't really express it i gotta get better at that though all right last song guys itchy bitchy this is also another one of my experiences it is 
about another classmate of mine. He was definitely going through something um, pretty serious. And he confided in me and, and, you know, I asked him, can you talk about this to your parents, to your family? But he didn't feel very comfortable to do so. This was pretty strange in a sense for me because when I was going through that identity crisis last year I was able to cry in my parents arms I just talked to them about everything I was quite well shocked in the sense that this friend of mine only had friends but I guess he felt comfortable to talk to him talk to me about his problems and I definitely wanted to support him help him and listen to him. I even saw myself in him just being vulnerable and, and wanting to let it all out. I think I think that is a really important thing to do and you definitely have to do that when you're going through something. You shouldn't just keep it to yourself. It is a toll to just hide everything inside. So I think it's great that I guess he found someone to talk to which was me so yeah you know we we chatted we texted he kept on texting me every day about his problems but then it started to get exhausting i just started to get too overwhelmed because i mean i i have my own issues as well and i'm a person who is quite negative myself now that I look back, it is it is very overwhelming to um, think about two people's problems. It is very painful to see a friend in that state. I, I really wanted to be a listening ear because many people did that for me last year and I tried but it was it was too overwhelming for me i just really didn't want to hurt my friend i didn't know how to tell him or if i even should tell him about it so i just wrote that in the song but yeah you know after writing this song came to the decision to straight up tell him how i felt yep so i i told him over a call and talked to him more the next day face to face and we are still friends um which is really great i'm really happy that we're still maintaining a good relationship a good friendship but yeah i hope that he finds another person to talk to who can like handle it better than me the main thing that i wanted to say through this song is that sometimes most times all the time you should put yourself first put your boundaries first put your feelings first if you're not okay with something be honest with yourself sometimes you should learn to cope with difficult things but it is it is important to give up sometimes if you just can't handle it if your heart can handle it i think this song really got me over the putting others first face i am really caring for myself right now i really accept myself I, I i actually love myself and i am learning to love myself even more through that i am learning to care for others even more than i did in the past so those are all the six songs that i have written so far for self-destruction my god my hands just like farted <laughs> wait that's so strange i think i have a few more songs that i hope to write for self-destruction so please wait for that um i can't wait to share it with you guys i hope i improve in my song writing by the way please feel free to like edit my songs because i'm not a professional in in music and i'm just writing songs to like share my feelings share my experiences because i want you guys to know that you are not alone you're not going through these feelings alone i want you guys to know that there are people out there who are going through the same problems but i definitely i mean 
I want to make my songs better, but I feel like I don't have the skills to do so. So if you feel like I mean I can do music better than you, and please feel free to like edit my music. I'm pretty sure that you you guys can make it better. Comment down below what you guys felt after listening to my inside of the soon to be completed album, Self Destruction. If you haven't listened to my songs, please check them out if you like this video please subscribe and like i love you